Hello there, Mercurial here again. Welcome to my second video. I'm going to do a walkthrough through Citadel's wash set. Um, I believe they've int they introduced the wash set not too long ago, maybe three years or so. It's a really good thing to have, in my opinion, especially when you're starting out in the modeling world, uh, like myself. Um, I'll go into the reasons why in a minute, but initially I'll just go through the box and the design. So you have the Citadel washers, as it says there. Nice little box. Shows you all the um, colors that are included. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight washers in total. Turn them around and you can see them there. It doesn't give you a good idea of um, what the colors actually look like. Um, so it's a good idea to actually get hold of them before you buy them. Just try them out, um, borrow, them, borrow them from your friends or just go down to your local game store if they have it and play around with it before you buy it. You might not actually like it or think it's worth buying so make sure you try it before you buy it. Um, it's a nice steady box again like most of Citadel's other stuff. Um, moving on to the actual contents of the box you have this nice little packaging for the washers keeps them nice and safe when you move the box around or taking them to your friend's place to paint with um, like I said, eight washers go through the names, really strange names I th if you've used Citadel paint you know what I'm talking about so, um, so you have a Baal red Leviathan purple Thraka green, do not quote me on how I say these names uh, Griffin sepia Devlin mud uh, has to be my favorite out of all the washers um, a Searman Blue, Ogryn Flesh, and second favorite of mine, Beta Black. Um, I'll just open one of these guys here to show you what they look like inside. Ooh, don't want to spill that, actually. Ah, there you go. Um, so flip, flip cap design like you get with Citadel's um, paints. It it's not the best design, in my opinion. I prefer the Valero um, dropper design for paints and washes, but it's not a bad design, to be honest. You get quite a lot of it. Might not seem that much because it's not, you know, filled all the way to the brim, but you do get quite a lot. Trust me. So you're not being shortchanged. <laughs> so put that back. Um, I have a Tau army, so I'll put an example of how I've used these washes. Um, this is a Croot Warrior, you know all about these guys who play Tau, 7 points apiece. Really cheap and nasty actually if you use them properly. Anyway, um, the, the main point about using washes is that it helps bring all your colours together. Just try and bring this a bit close without blurring out too much. It um, helps bring all your paints together. Uh, so for example, for this Croot Warrior I've done a, an initial base coat and then paint, painted off the uh, separate bits like the gun, the sort of hair if you like um, and then just put I think two coats of Devlin mud just to bring it you know all together and just highlighted it after that it's not a bad effort uh, I did this model in about an hour compared to you know my other models which take at least two hours to finish properly so it it helps make your models look tabletop worthy so if you're one of those people who doesn't really care about getting every model you know high quality finish and all that um, washes are the way to go um, I'll give you another example of how to use this so you have a towel fire warrior again similar to the crude initial base coat um, painted the different bits washed it and highlighted it a bit to complete the model quite nice and simple. Um, I have a third example here of an army I don't play, it's just from the Assault and Black Reach. An Orc, there you go. So it looks quite nice for Orcs because um, Devlin Mud obviously being a muddy colour. Mm -hmm. um, it, it blends in nicely for this Orc, so you, you get a bit of a rusty look on the armour. I've used a bit of better black on the gun can see that there. It mixes in really well with um, bolt gun metal so bolt gun metal, beta black and highlight with a bit of, bit of um, uh, mithril silver or 
the other silver, what's it called? I've forgotten the name, sorry. Anyway, a bit of highlight to finish off. Um, so, it's not a bad effing, you know. You know. Initial AOBR model, I think it's very good looking. So that's how you would use it. Um, the main difference between these washes and, for example, the inks that you might get, just grab one of those. So some of you might be familiar with this. Um, I bought a set of game inks. These are by a company called Valero. Um, they come in a set as well, you can buy them individually, whatever. But the main difference between an ink and the wash, in non-technical terms for a novice like myself, is that um, if you use inks, you'll find them to be a bit strong, and you might have to thin them down using water or some sort of um, ink thinner or even wash thinner. Whereas if you use one of the, um, the Citadel washes, they're a bit more... Uh, the they're not as strong, so you can put an initial coat um, and if you want to make it stronger, you just keep putting consecutively um, more strokes, coats rather, uh, to make it darker. And the other thing is the Citadel washes give you sort of a matte look, matte finish look on the model. So it's a bit like putting matte varnish um, on your model to protect it. I'm not sure if it's the same thing i.e. does it give the same level of protection as a matte varnish but it does look very similar so I'm not going to say it's the same but it might be I'm just saying it looks the same so you don't have to buy any thinners that's the advantage of these washes and they've catered Games Workshop had catered the colors to most of the common ones so you get green, purple, red, spear, mud, black, flesh, blue so most of the colors have been covered here. There's nothing to stop you from, you know, mixing two colors, three colors, and making your own. Um, you can mix them up and spray them. If you have a um, spray gun, the Citadel spray gun, or a um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, those things to spray with. Um, if you want something um, stronger. Inks are the way to go. I think Valera stopped making inks and went to a wash system like Citadel themselves, but the, the new washes might be the same as Citadel. So if, if you can't get Citadel, just go for the Valera. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that the inks are a bit strong compared to washes, but nothing to stop you from trying out yourself and um, determining the results yourself. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, it's quite good things to have washes, especially for beginners um, because it helps you get that uh, nice professional sort of look without putting too much time and effort into it which is always good I think so that's it for me now more videos to come hopefully bye